Hey everybody, Steve Ritter. Welcome back. Glad to have you. How are you doing? Doing fine. Um, so uh, we are going to make uh, the, another Ritter family uh, uh, favorite uh, tonight. Uh, so the ravishing Mrs. Ritter wants to have some uh, some chicken uh, quesadillas tonight. So, and we're going to make that uh, with some uh, homemade guacamole. So tonight, so for this video, it's the homemade guacamole. And the next video will be the chicken quesadillas. They go great together. Uh, I was going to make some homemade salsa, but man, that's too much work. And you know, this, some of the store-bought stuff you can get is just fine. So uh, I'm, we're just going to do that. So maybe homemade salsa another time. But uh, uh, this is super simple. I'm going to kind of talk you through uh, the way I make it. I'm, I'm, I am trying a new little technique here um, uh, with it. And I, I'm hoping that it turns out pretty well. Uh, but uh, Let's just get cracking. I'm going to just do this in one take. So we'll get uh, angle this down and we'll get cracking. Okay. So, all right. Everybody okay? Is that not turned around too much for you there? Um, <clears throat> first off, the, all, the, uh, all the ingredients and the directions and all are uh, down below. Uh, down below, look down there. On your way down, hit this thumbs up. It looks like that. The thumbs up, don't hit that. Hit that. And the subscribe, uh, and uh, uh, check out the uh, the recipe and the directions. So uh, four uh, avocados. Now here's the trick. These this is something new here. I'm going to try. These are green skinned avocados. A little different. They're a little sweeter. Um, but I'm thinking that with the salt and the garlic that we're going to add, that it's going to be going to be okay. But you can use the Haas, which is what I normally use. But the only trick about that is, is they sell them in the store. They're they're green and they're hard. And I, I was like, well, look, I wonder if I can use these. And I picked them up and you kind of give them a little bit of a squeeze. And if there's give to it, look, they're, they're ripe. So um, uh, if you go in in the Haas variety, H-A-A-S, which is normally what I use. And, and uh, it's pretty tasty, but uh, I'm going to try this and see how this works. And it works anyway. Uh, those, the skins turn uh, real like black. Uh, and and there's and if there's a lot of give in it, there's space between the skin and the and the meat inside. You know it's really ripe. But uh, uh, if they're real light green, you're gonna have to bring them home, and it's gonna take you about four days for them to ripen up. If you sit them out, uh, let them ripen up. But I wanted to make this. I wanted to make it tonight. So this is what I got to go with. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut these open. And uh, there's a giant seed inside. So you just kind of cut around. So you hit that seed, work your way around. It's pretty easy. These open up real nice, and it just splits open. There's the seed inside. A little uh, technique, see if I get this to work. Kind of do that. Pulls the seed right out. So put that in my feed the deer pile, and then I'm going to just take this and uh, scoop this on out into the bowl. I've got four. I've done three already, so I figured you one uh, one of these you get the get the the gist of it. <clears throat> okay, I just scoop the meat out into a large mixing bowl. So I really, we usually we have a, a tradition in our house watching the Super Bowl. We'd make nachos, and usually I'd make some homemade guacamole and that stuff. A big pot, uh, well, a big bowl of it like this. I mean, I put like twelve avocados in there when all the kids were home. And that stuff's gone in like three days. So, um, so oops, I guess I got to get both of them out here, don't I? So, uh, don't want to waste any. Yeah, this is this meat's a little bit sweeter than the the regular Haas avocados. So, this is a bit of an experiment. So, this is a this may be a concocting with the Colonel episode here. So, scoop that meat on out. Hope everybody's doing all right. It looks like there's another. Hurricane headed for Louisiana, Alabama. So I hope you guys, you guys have seen your fair share of hurricanes this year. Praying for y'all down there. <clears throat> and it looks like my son William's going to be delayed. His graduation uh, from flight school is going to get pushed back another two weeks because of it. So, uh, but he's going to press on. He's actually getting married here in a couple of weeks. Girl he met down there in Pensacola, Morgan. Love her to death. A lot of fun. 
Okay, so got that done. Now what I want to go ahead and do is um, I've got, uh, I'm going to take uh, a white, or but well, an onion, uh, or a onion, and Bella would immediately correct me at that point. But just uh, one uh, one large onion, chop it up, and uh, and that goes in the pot. Here it goes. Right in she goes. So I figure you guys know how to chop up an onion. A uh, onion. <laughs> so do that. Um, four Roma tomatoes. Now. Um, what I do uh, with that, you want to seed them. So I cut the top and the bottom off, and then you can see you can get at the seeds nice and easy, and just take the seeds and scoop them out. Again, that's going to go in my feed the deer pile um, here the, for the scraps for the green space out back, and wash them out. Get make sure all the seeds are out of them, and then I'm going to just dice them up. Can you guys see? Okay, let me zoom in just a touch here. You see that okay? All right. Thanks. I heard you. <laughs> and I'm going to just kind of dice these up, being careful not to whack my finger open. So I heard a good joke the other day. So how do you tell the difference between a boy ant and a girl ant? You take, you take them and you put them in a bucket of water. If the ant sinks, it's a girl ant. If the ant floats, it's a boy ant. <laughs> oh, I, was, I miss Bella. She probably would have rolled her eyes. So I've got that. I've got uh, it's chopped up just like that, diced up, and then it's going in the pot. I'm going to put that in there with my other pre diced up tomatoes. So that's four tomatoes. And I've got uh, a jalapeno, actually, two jalapenos. Now these are pretty strong. I about chemically attacked myself earlier when I cut them up. So I like cutting them up, cut the tops, bottom off again. I can get at the seeds now, and now I can get the seeds out. So I want to do, and, and I can already smell them, man. That, that, these are pretty strong. I don't want those seeds in there. That's just a little bit too strong. I'll put those in the sink. You know, as I've learned the hard way, don't rub your eyes after you do that. <laughs> Make sure you, and then, uh, and just kind of dice them up. Just like that. And just chop them up. And you can go with one jalapeno if you like it less spicy. Chop them up. And that's going to go in the pot as well. I've got uh, the other one that I pre-chopped. There it is. So that's I've got. I'm going. I'm going a little spice here with the two jalapeno uh, guacamole dip. So guacamole, I guess. And then I want the juice of one <clears throat> one lemon. Now I, I bought uh, two lemons, so I'm reserving the right to change my mind if I want to go uh, and put a little bit more lemon in. So you could just. Check back later after you kind of mix it up and taste it. And if it if you think it needs more lemon, put more lemon in it. I mean, really, that's now this is this is a little different too because normally I use limes, but uh, I want to try this. This looked intriguing to me. I, I found this recipe looks intriguing to me, so I'm gonna try it with the lemon. So a juice of one lemon. There we go, very nice. Now one thing calls for, <clears throat> it calls for uh, two cloves of garlic. Now, this is the technique that really caught my eye with this recipe. So I'm gonna take the clove, just like I always do, and just kind of give it a little crush there with the flat of the knife. That's gonna help me peel it for one. Also releases a lot of those oils. All right now, what I'm going to do? I'm going to give it a little bit of a chop. Okay, but I'm going to take some kosher salt. And I'm going to put a little bit on here. I'm going to start probably half a half a tablespoon maybe. 
and I'm going to just take the flat of the knife and just grind that in. Kind of push down and pull and move around and what I'm looking for is kind of a garlicky paste and it's kind of like I did the other day with the uh, making the homemade lemon salt. Kind of work in the garlic into the salt here. Kind of mash that in and the salt's going to serve to kind of help crush this garlic up. I'm kind of chopping and grinding. And if you need to put a little more salt in, you can tell because it'll looks like it's being absorbed almost. But that oils from the garlic mixing in with the salt. I'm intrigued by how this is going to turn out. I'm just as excited as you guys are. So kind of makes a looking for kind of a kind of a salty paste garlic here. See it kind of mashing up. It's kind of a mash. Okay. I'll just put a little bit more salt on there. Because the, the guacamole is going to need salt anyway, so this is a good way to kind of get that going. And just mashing it in. There, it's really, it kind of makes a bit of a paste. You kind of see here. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And that's going to get mixed up with my guacamole. And then last but not least, I washed this off already. I'm gonna just, I've got some cilantro. And I'm gonna, don't, don't, don't put the, uh, don't put the wrapper in it. That wouldn't be good. I'm gonna just kind of rough cut this. Just a nice bunch of cilantro. I love cilantro. We use a lot of the cilantro in the Thai cooking that we do. And, Ravishing, ravishing Mrs. Ritter's half Thai. I don't know if I told you all that. So, I had a lot of Thai food over the years. Love it. Just kind of rough cutting it here. And that's going to go in, mix in with our guacamole. So, posted a video. Yesterday, did the last walkthrough of Mom's house, so we actually found a buyer for the house, which ironically enough, the buyer's last name is Stokes, which is funny. Seemed kind of, kind of meant to be, doesn't it? All right, so just some rough cut handful of cilantro in the pot it goes. Now, I'm just going to take a fork and just kind of just mix this all together, start working this in, mixing in the, all the stuff, mixing it in with the avocados, mashing it up. You know, it would be even easier if I had a potato masher, which I do as soon as I find it. There it is. Use this potato masher. So work smarter, not harder, right? Or I like to do is work smarter and harder then you get a lot more done, right? So I'm going to just kind of mash this all in. And you, you basically, you know, if you like a thicker chunk uh, to, your, to your guacamole, by all means, you know, I mean, this really becomes an art form. And really, you know, if you make a mistake, you get to eat it, which makes it pretty good. It's not so bad. I'm kind of a, some people might, you know, work this, work in a little bit of sour cream into this, too. I, uh, I'm a little bit of a purist. Okay, how's that looking? Does that look pretty good? All right, so now let me try this and see how we're doing here. That's really good. I'm going to mix it a little, a little bit more. Mm, that's pretty tasty. I'm going to mix this a little bit more. 
but I'll, I'll mix this all together and when it's all the way I like it it's uh, if it's salty enough if it's <clears throat> got all <clears throat> the right flavors the way I like it if I need a little bit more lemon I'll put a little bit more lemon in it but when I get it close to the way I like it just cover it up and put it in the um, put it in the refrigerator and then take it out when you're ready mm. That's it. Homemade guacamole. I'll probably put, I'm going to put a little bit more salt in here just to get it, turn the corner a little bit. And again, those green skin avocados, a little sweeter. So a little bit more, a uh, little bit salt uh, in there would uh, kind of cut that a little bit. But the Haas, the Haas avocados are going to be really, uh, are really good. That's normally what I use, but these work great too. So, um, it's got a nice taste, it's real nice, it's fresh. Goes great with chips, it's gonna go awesome with our chicken quesadillas. So, um, cover it up with some uh, plastic saran wrap, which some of you have remarked was the bane of my mother's existence. <laughs> so, um, and uh, cover it up, use it when you want, um, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. This is super simple. <coughs> Jalapenos. <coughs> Maybe one next time. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and this is Colonel signing off. See you next time.